just want you all to know I did an epic, really fast, really deep, sensual knee drag, and my camera wasn't recording. That's why I have a remote, so if it's not blinking, I know something's wrong. It froze, so I hit record again, and here we go. Less than 50 degrees, actually it's probably less than 50 today. Fahrenheit, by the way, I guess I have to clarify if it's Celsius or Fahrenheit for people watching this all over the world. It's weird seeing these neighborhoods being built because I've been in places like this just riding around before things were built and then come by like a year later and see, oh my gosh, where all these houses come from. I don't know if you guys notice, I mean, I imagine those of you who actually live around where I do notice, but I typically, like I said, ride in the same places every time. And I think you guys can see if you watch Moto Monday or Finally Friday regularly and go, oh yeah, he's, he was there like a couple weeks ago in his last video, or oh yeah, I, I drive by there, I don't know. But this place is a place I don't think I've ever recorded, not that you many of you will know or care, but just so you know, I typically record and ride in the same places over and over and over again. This is one of those neighborhoods that I saw being built, and I will just, because apparently all I do is reminisce about things, I don't actually do anything. Back in my 650 exploring days, I would look at this house and turn around and think, man, who would, why, I don't know, it's a nice house. I think it's a nice house, but I think I'd feel like crap if I lived there. I'd be like, it's too much. What am I supposed to do with all this house? Over here, a lot of this is new from a year or two ago when I was riding. So that was kind of being built. These houses were being built, and from that house on, these are all brand new. All of this you're seeing back here has, has been built in a year or two. All of it. All of that, those down there, it was empty. And then this is where they kind of stop. It's little, 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 and they peter out, and then there's no more houses. It's just fascinating to me. I don't know. Some things amaze me, some things don't. This is one of those things that really just kind of wows me for some reason. Is hey, it was one way and now it is not anymore. Kind of like laser tag was the most amazing toy back when I was a kid. Now it's like everywhere I know it really cares as much. Like if I uh, whatever. I think maybe most writers do this. I would think they do. I have a mental note of every place that I've seen a cop before. Now what's with this? The women's are running now. They weren't before. That's cheating. When you run, at least when I run, oh look at that, oh, paraplegic dog. Ah, oh. <laughs> that's so sad. Ah, oh, it ruined my train of thought. I don't even care about my rant about the women's in there running. It's none of my business anyway, but dang, that dog. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> I need to turn around and pet that dog. That's what I have to do. It is the right thing to do. Batman would do it. You go on with your, your cheat, your cheating running. Excuse me, sir. Hi, I saw your dog and my heart went out to it. Could I please pet him? Oh, please. Okay. His name's Lieutenant Dan. Oh my, Lieutenant Dan! <laughs> <laughs> he knows his name. Hi. What's his sob story? Um. I actually think he was bo probably born that way. I've had him for about nine years. Um, he was found at a hoarder's up in St. Joseph's. What's a hoarder's? Uh, people who like collect dogs but don't really care for them. Oh. Oh, I just got it. I was thinking, hey, you know Lieutenant Dan couldn't walk. <laughs> Like that's probably where he got his name, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'm not I'm not very bright. <laughs> what's what's his name? That's Scarlet. Scarlet, okay. Lieutenant Dan! Ice cream! <laughs> hey, thanks for letting me pet your dog. Hey, no problem. Nice to meet you. Yeah, man. Have a good day. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan! That was the best! There was a dog that I met named Pirate. Now, this dog was initially named Pirate, right? And he has a spot, like a eye patch, like a black uh, spot over his eye. He's white with black. And then one day, he had his eye taken out by something. He, he lost his eye in the same eye that has the uh, th a spot that looks like a patch. And so I call him Pirate the Pirate Dog. He literally is like a pirate because he looks like a pirate, but he was named Pirate first. Now, th if that dog was named Lieutenant Dan and then wasn't able to walk, that'd be the same kind of wow factor as Pirate the Pirate Dog. But still, Lieutenant Dan is a great name for that dog. So I like movies very good. Um, I don't know that there's anything I'd want to do with movies in the way of YouTube, with the exception of dubbing. I, I do want to dub movies in the future. I've mentioned that before. But anyway, like most people, I like movies, and I went to watch Star Wars The Force Woke Up recently, and uh, right about that time, actually I think it was just today, <laughs> all the days are blurring together. I, I'd heard about the Jar Jar Darth 
theory before and I was like, yeah, whatever. Or, you know, that it existed. I didn't know what it was. And today I, I gave in, I clicked the thumbnail that was, kept popping up in my suggestions on YouTube. And I was like, fine. So I watched it. And this is my facial process throughout the 10 minute video explaining how it was. It was like four stages. First it was like, <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Mother of God. <laughs> so it explains how Jar Jar is a Sith Lord. And uh, yeah. Um, there are several videos of them. The one I watched, I watched several. The one that really explained it best had over 2 million views. And uh, if that's true, if Jar Jar was intended to be a Darth Lord, then it makes the prequels better. But I don't know if it's true. And it's, sometimes fan theories are great. That's one of the ones that I well, you know, watched it with Mother of God. Plausible. Mythbusters needs to get on that. You know, I think everyone does this, but move your ass. I, when I look at cars that are driving by and you know I'm riding and what happens is like say someone's pulling up alongside me you want to look and turn and see who it is because I don't know why we do that at least I do that I'm just gonna assume everyone does it and uh, the thing is you have to look at them and then look away before they look and see you and make eye contact you have to look at them without making eye contact it's the trick it's the game and it's very tricky and awkward I, I really feel like everyone does that. I totally do it. Like right now I'm looking at her and the appropriate time to look away is when she looks at me. But she didn't, so I just got to keep staring. She was looking at her nails the whole time, which, you know, whatever. I win. Hey, I need to pull over here and get something. This is exactly where I needed to go. Wow, I wasn't even thinking about it, but I need to go here. This is the very first place I went to when I got the tubing for my Venator Mark 1. And I need to get tubing for the Venator Mark 2 replica that I'm going to make. Because I have all the parts except that. Alright, electrical. It's electrical tubing. And the size that I want is this size. Only oh, That's not right. That's not right at all. It's, did you have it? Oh, this is it right here. Wow, only six bucks, guys, for this. That's winning. Oh, six dollars and twenty-one cents, please. Nice. Thank you. All right, you bet, man. Have a good one. You too. Thanks. I'm gonna make a replica of my Venita Mark II and give it away for free because I can and America. So I have all the parts I need. Minus the tubing. So I'm going to build that. I had a, basically just a sweepstakes open for a few weeks. Had people send in their name. And then I randomly picked one. Landed on Melissa Bonjo in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. So I'm going to make that and give it away. So, I mean, I'm not going to say sucks to be the rest of you, but someone had to win. Oh, you know, and I looked at the calendar. Apparently Christmas is on Friday. Which means when you're watching this, it'll be Christmas. So Merry Christmas, And I hope that uh, the weather will be good on... Christmas because I'll have no plans and then I can make a Christmas rally moto Monday number two and that'd be pretty neat well, Thank you guys for watching and again do have a merry Christmas. I'll see you later. Bye